day uh, the car descriptive feedback. You know, not just like good job, thank you, excellent, right? So the question comes up, how do, how do we say thank you? Maybe I thank staff and teachers by saying that we had the highest passage rate in Algebra 1, 28% higher than area schools. English one passage rate, highest in the district. Better than 30%. Because we're not just Jones Elementary, we are the Before the school opened, the Jones Elementary was the lowest achievement school in the district. That's why I'm so agitated when people don't say leadership academy. Teachers, you know, teachers have in service on their free time to deliver instruction to you. Okay, they have gone above and beyond. There are teachers that just flunk kids. You would not have a hundred percent passage if teachers were not busting their butt to make sure that you learn, understood. Now, everybody, all kumbaya, y'all know, but it's a hundred percent passage. That's a compliment to you your parents, and the teachers. So give it up. Thank you for letting me come and just say a few words. I am so pleased to be here and to see all of you and to understand that you are the Leadership Academy and that you are the leaders of today. Not the lead, if, if folks tell you you're the leaders of tomorrow, tell them no. Say, no, I am a leader today. 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 part of the celebration because it's truly a celebration when you would when you as the students identify a teacher who you think should be receiving this award and that the teachers also do the same to identify a student I mean what that says to me is that you are about more than just an education you're about community and what community means is that you all look out for one another, you lift each other up, you make sure that if someone is falling down, you, you try to help them and give them a pleasant word, right? Yeah. Yeah, you try to make sure that everything that you do is positive. Because it's so quickly for us to get to fall back on the negative side and just look at folks and talk about them and, and not really try to be finding the good in everyone. And so I want to commend you. I want to commend whoever has been nominated. I don't know who they are. Do you guys know who they are yet? They won't tell you to the end, huh? So I think everybody's in a lot of anticipation waiting to see who's going to get selected. So I'm not going to hold you up because I know that's why we're all here to find out who is actually the teacher and the student of the month. That's TPS what? Proud. Y'all don't sound like it. TPS what? Proud. Okay, okay. And I'm proud to be here and I'm proud to be part of this, this celebration. So keep on doing the good work that you're doing. And when are you, when are you guys leaders? Yeah. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I can't tell you in regard to how proud I am of each and every one of you. Understand, don't call yourself a leader. Be a leader. Continue to step out. Continue to speak up. Continue to represent yourself at the highest level just as the staff has set for you. And you're doing that each and every day. Again, I am TPS proud of you. Continue to live up to expectation, because again, we are the Leadership Academy. We are the Leadership Academy. TPS? Proud. TPS? Proud. You guys want to do the teacher or the student winner first? The teacher. The teacher? Okay. So this is what was said about the teacher, okay? She's calm. She's nice. She's perfect for the class and so she keeps us on point. Um, she taught me how to love life and to never give up. And I would like to welcome up Mr. Treshawn Merle, please, come up here. Hello. 
And Trishan, can you tell me a little bit about why you nominated uh, Miss Amy Estevanez? Please. Yes, um, one of the reasons why I nominated Miss Estevanez was because that she keeps the class in order and she knows how to keep us on point and she like if we're if the class is good like she sets up she knows how to teach us she knows how to teach us right and never to give up and how to love life and period So I'm sorry that we could only choose one person, but this young lady is always on task and coming up with creative new ideas. She often leads the discussions and helps other students to make connections. She's always willing to help another student who is struggling, even if it means taking longer to do her own work. Though she has fun with her peers, she is always on task and keeps in mind the work she has done. And it was um, Annalise who nominated this this girl, and her name is Celia. So, and, um, if I can have Annalise up here to tell us a little bit about more, a little more about why she nominated Celia, please. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Annalise, and I'm Okay, well, she nominated you, and she had a lot of wonderful things today. That's actually only a portion of her nomination, so you'll receive the, the whole full nomination, but on behalf of TPS Proud, congratulations, there's $150 for you. 